Hi, and welcome back. We are in the Tesla. We've got another software update. This is 2024.3.20. It's not a huge one. I'll give you a little spoiler. Uh, but I wanted to just do this quick video. It's going to be real quick. And before I start, I want to say thanks again to everyone for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Thanks, especially for subscribing. And if you haven't yet, maybe consider clicking that subscribe button, right? So let's take a look at this update and we'll see what we got in 2024.3.20. Okay, so so as you can see, it's not much. It just says full self-driving supervised version 12.3.5. So it's an update to the full self-driving and it says that it upgrades the city street driving stack to a single. So we had this, this is exactly the same as the last one we had. So I don't know, maybe they made some fixes in the way it drives, the way it navigates in the cities. Not exactly sure, uh, but obviously there are some changes to it. I haven't used it very much, uh, but yeah, so just not much. So yeah, not much new, uh, some probably some minor changes to the software, the way it navigates in the city. Um, my review, just by the way, of this whole full self-driving, I don't love it. I don't think it's worth what they charge. Uh, I don't think it's all it's cracked up to be. It, it has, I've tried it four times, twice. It did the wrong thing and I had to stop it. So I don't think it's that great, uh, my personal opinion, summon, I tried it, I have a video about it. You can check my videos, you'll see. I, I, again, I don't think any of that's that great. I love the car, I love the Tesla. I love the way the autopilot works. That's enough for me. And to me, the cost benefit is not worth upgrading to full self-driving. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Not much in this update, very small, just some minor fixes, but thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.